in Google Sheets, the numbers are formatted in different ways. Um, to, and basically they, they present, they look different depending on the way you format them. So this might make a little more sense as we get into more detail. So here I have an example of some household transactions, not very pretty spreadsheet, but um, it's big enough to kind of fulfill its purpose. Anyway, so we have three different types of numbers here. Okay, we have a date, amount, and a time. Now I just plugged these in and Google Sheets usually does a pretty good job at guessing what it is you're trying to put in your uh, sheets, but we'll talk a little bit about when it doesn't correctly identify the type of number you're putting in. Anyway, so what I'm talking about is you plug in a number and you want Google Sheets to display it in a certain way. Like for example, looking at these amounts, I can tell those are dollar values. However, I might want them to display a certain way. Um, for example, if I click this dollar sign, you can see now I've added a dollar sign to every one of the numbers and a decimal and two, uh, two placeholders there for the, for the cents. So um, it automatically formats it as currency. It recognizes it as currency. And the nice thing is if I format all of these cells as currency, notice it doesn't, it doesn't hurt anything with text in it, but um, anything else that I plug in, like if I plug in 552, I did not type that dollar sign, but it plugged it in automatically. So if you format your cells beforehand, um, it can kind of take out some of the work later. Now, um, a, a few other methods of formatting, a few other ways we can format things is date. So for example, if I highlight this cell, um, now notice I can, and even if I'm looking at this, uh, this is probably a better example, increase or decrease the decimal places. I can decrease the decimal places so it doesn't show as many, or I can increase it so it shows more. Um, depending on what you're using it for, that may be applicable. But uh, there are other number formats. So you see this one, two, three drop down, you click on that. We can adjust our format. So I'm gonna select column A here with my dates and see what options I have. I can do date, I can do date and time, um, you know, I can, I can even select, so for example, it gives me a few different examples. I can select September 8th. So now it's going to do August 12th that displays the same date differently because what's happening is that cell contains a number that represents a date. And when you format it, essentially you're telling Google Sheets, you want it, that number to display a certain way. And when you change the format, it doesn't ever change that number. So when I change the date, it adjusts here we'll do more formats more more date and time formats um yeah i don't know look how many different options there are so we could select this one right here apply and now it's going to display differently so again this might be an example of why you might want to format your dates differently keep in mind though that number it's it exists behind the scenes in fact just to kind of prove that to you if i click on this and click number now it's displaying the actual number that represents that date. Um, and, and if I come back and I click on date, those dates are still there. Now that's most applicable if, let's say for example, we have these cells, I'm gonna format them as number, okay? And let's say for whatever reason, I'm copying and I'm pasting these over. Oh, it did copy the format over. I have seen sometimes though where it will it will maintain the cells format. So you copy and paste dates over and they appear kind of funky and you think you've lost the data and really you haven't, you just need to reformat those cells. So um, a few other types of formatting, time for example, um, this one's pretty much all right, already formatted for us, except now one thing you need to be aware of, I may not have wanted to put in AM in there, I might have wanted PM. And when you select, um, when you go in there and you select time, it's obviously going to adjust it. Now I can come in here and, and, and change this so I can type PM um, and now that adjusts, but um, you just need to watch out for that if you're adjusting your number formats. And that is the basics of adjusting number formats.